Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists of the Roses. Last time we managed to take on Joey and um, Shoddy over here. And uh, this time we're going to be taking on Yugi's grandpa, who I think is named Truesdale, but they called him Jasper Dice Tutor for some reason. Um, very interesting name to make, but whatever. I changed up our deck just a little bit for this fight. I put in more powerful monsters that we owned. And uh, yeah, this is going to be one of the hardest fights in the game. Just like I said with Pegasus, so hopefully it goes as easy as it did with Pegasus. Uh... Uh, Yugi's grandpa's entire thing is that he has an Exodia deck, like he should, you know, he had it in the show. And he's gonna be hiding in this little hole here, and we have to get to him before he either kills us with spell cards, which do damage to us directly, or summons Exodia. So if we don't manage to do that, then we get our butts kicked. If we do manage to stop him, then yay, we manage to stop him. So we'll see how this goes. Um, we're gonna do this, this, this... Judge Mayhem we got from uh, uh, Joey, and I think I'm going to have that one go last. So I just want to throw away my whole hand because we need to draw powerful monsters to ensure that we win this. Uh, Judge Mayhem is going to be fine over here, and uh, let's just see how it does. So he didn't summon anything, which is kind of weird. Uh, yep, now we have our Swamp Battle Guard that we also got from Joey. That will come in handy when it does. Uh, until it comes in handy though, we need to keep moving, and we need to move our Judgment Hand forward, and hopefully we can win this duel, but who knows, he might summon Exodia, he might play a spell card that kills us, uh, he could do a lot of dumb things, but we'll see how it goes. For now, I think we're gonna be okay, we drew some pretty good cards here, uh, we can start with a Harpy's Pet Dragon, and have this follow the Judgment Hand into battle. Judgment Hand might be destroyed, but that's fine, as long as it, uh, gets in there. And Harpy's Pet Dragon will be their backup, and we'll move over to the right side and try to attack him from both angles. Uh, near him is the Mountain Field, which we can take advantage of in case he summons anything pretty powerful. And if he doesn't, then he doesn't. We'll just see how it goes. Right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get one of our Field Spell cards, because our Field Spell will give us an advantage on the inside, which would, you know, be very helpful for us. So, we'll be doing that as soon as he lets us. But until he lets us, we'll have the slow march to his base, which he is blocking the door with a bunch of monsters, and I do not like that. And he's blocking both entrances, since he knows that I'm going for the other side now. Luckily, we drew Empress Judge, and I think... Uh, he was useless. Let's throw him away. I think she'll be a good uh, leader to go in for the front attack, and we'll have someone back her up in a second. But first, let's move our guys forward. There we go. So we're moving into our attack. We're, we're moving in for the attack, and we're just trying to get to him before he summons Exodia. Most of his monster cards aren't even that powerful. The problem with his monster cards is that they usually have effects that spellbind you. So, you know, you get stalled for a bunch of turns. Kind of annoying, but what do you expect from a guy that uses Exodia? Kind of what uh, he should be going for. Uh, I think we'll let our Empress Judge move forward. And then we'll move our Wolf Axe Wielder, and we'll summon... We don't need you, we don't need you, we don't need you. Although, no, we do want Swamp Battle Guard. We'll put him behind her, and then we'll have Swamp Battle Guard follow her into battle. Uh, he may not be stronger than her, but he could get stronger than her if we draw the Lava Battle Guard, which I think would be pretty cool. But who knows, we might not have that happen. But here's hoping we might get it done. And he's not defending his other side, so maybe our guys can get in there for the attack. I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but that's what I'm going to try and make happen. So move the Judgment Hand forward. Harvey's Pet Dragon's on the field it likes now. Uh, let's see, what can I do? We did get Soijin. That would be very useful for our team. But, oh, and we got Panther Warrior. That's kind of cool. But that's not exactly going to work right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to give... Uh, does this help Warriors with Earth? Warrior Monsters with Earth. Perfect. Uh, we're going to help our Empress Judge out here and give her a power increase. And move her forward. And we'll have the Soijin follow in behind next turn. And hopefully that'll be good enough, so let's just keep this moving. Keep getting towards him and hope to god he doesn't summon something that can prevent us from killing him, or play a bunch of spell cards that are super annoying, or... You know, there's a million things he can do to us, so let's just hope none of them happen. So far he's been pretty docile, but you never know. He could just blow up on us in any sec at any se second. So let's see... Fairy Dragon, Panther Warrior, regular Curse of Dragon... Soijin. Hmm. 
Well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get Sojin in there. But nah, let's let's try at least. So let's move you forward. Let's move you forward. And we'll have Soijin follow in behind just in case the monsters that he summoned are too annoying. But they shouldn't be. Judge Mahan, get in there. And then Harpy's Fed Dragon, back him up. Okay. We should be good, people. Most of his monsters are spellcasters, so unless he gets into it, I mean, unless they're inside that dark area, they shouldn't be too strong. Even though that one did just get a power increase, so who knows. Wow, he didn't even attack us or move in defense mode. I wonder what his plan is. Okay, he's in defense mode. That's his plan. Let's take advantage of that and just go straight in for the kill. 1500. Does this thing have that dumb effect of spellbinding us? Oh, it's Injection Fairy Lily. That's pretty cool. Why does it have... No, no, no. That's normal. Okay, Fairy Card. What are you doing here? Or Spellcaster. The Empress Judge. We haven't seen her attack yet, so we might as well check it out. Might be pretty cool. Is it a boomerang? She uses a boomerang. Okay. Interesting enough. So, Ambrose Judge will now move in on the attack. And it doesn't look like Injection Fairy Lily had an effect she could use. Weird, but whatever. We'll get over it. And... Ooh! Thunder with Dragon. Okay, that's really good. Uh, you know what? We'll have this one follow in from behind. That's five monsters now, so we can't summon any more monsters. Hopefully we get aggressive and uh, we won't have to worry about that, but we'll see. So first, let's move Judgment Hand into battle. Okay, this is good. This is why we let Judgment Hand go first, just in case he had dumb trap cards that would destroy our monsters. Now our Harpy's Pet Dragon should be able to get in no problem. Unless this is just another trap card that does dumb, dumb, dumb stuff. Okay, wait, did he just... Why would you kill your own card? Wait, why'd you leave that one in attack mode? Oh, that card probably spell binds if he left it in attack mode. You jerk. Oh, wait, are you going in for the kill? Oh, that's gonna hurt so much. Just Desserts does 300 damage per monster on the field. So... Yeah. Which means he only has one monster on the field since it did 500. Or 1500. And this must be it. What the hell? Oh, it flips all our monsters face up. That's... Interesting. The Stern Mystic, eh? Interesting choice, Stern Mystic. You, uh... You flipped all my cards face up, which means Soijin is going to activate. Hmm. Triggers when Regeki is activated, nullifies Regeki. He has two pieces of Exodia already on the field. Huh, this guy's threatening. So let's go in for the attack with Harpy's Pet Dragon. Empress Judge already moved. Move up the Swamp Battle Guard. Move up the Soijin, which will activate the Soijin, which is fine. This will uh, give our monsters two spaces to move, and we have one space of Sojin in his base that we can take advantage of, as long as he doesn't get another one of those goddamn freaking, uh, what's it called, uh, Just Dessert cards, which he does have three of, or two of. So, maybe I'll plan ahead and just not summon any more monsters, just so if he summons another monster, we, I don't want to take any more damage, is what I'm saying. So we'll leave it alone. So right now, he's probably going to put something right in front of Harpy's Pet Dragon to stop it. Harpy's Pet Dragon has 2,000 attack though, so I'm not exactly afraid. Even if he does destroy it, I have like three more monsters on the way, so let's see what happens. Get in there, Harpy's Pet Dragon! And it's a Spellbind monster, very good. And since it's on the Spellcaster field, it has a long... Three turns, god damn it. I might as well just kill Harpy's Pet Dragon then. Have one of my guys override it. Until then, let's just keep moving all our forces forward. And, uh, maybe I'll play a spell card. Throw away a bunch of monsters and just play a spell card just so that, uh, he thinks that we summon another monster. He'll try to activate just desserts and what the fuck? Oh, that card powers up these warriors. I guess we'll just have a really strong panther warrior. That's, that's cool too. Uh, hoping that he doesn't play just desserts or I might lose a lot. Oh, whoa, why would you do that? Is he taunting me? Because I can't attack him? Can AIs taunt you? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does not matter. I'm gonna kill it anyway, never mind. Get out of here, Harpy's Pet Dragon. Empress Judge can do the job. Especially since it's like way stronger. And let's move up our twin headed Thunder Dragon and our brand new Panther Warrior and end our turn. So now he has to run away from us, running in there. 
Are you going to play another monster that spellbinds our cards and makes us wait a whole nother turn? Or three, depending on how he's feeling. I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, let's see what he does. 3,000, what the hell? Oh my god, this card. Why does it have 3,000 defense instead of 2,700? Do you get a boost from this guy? Oh, they must get a boost from being next to Exodia as the deck leader. Okay, so I can't beat that. Which means I need to start killing things. Because I don't have any monsters that can beat that. Oh, crap. Okay, I need to start throwing away my hand so that I can actually figure out a way to beat that defense. Ooh, I could have done with Harvey's Pet Dragon, but I killed it. Uh, mistakes were made. What are you going to do? First, get over here. I know I powered you up, but you're useless to me. Nekogal, you, 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 you. So this should make Garvis. This should make nothing. This should make nothing. And then this should make Harvey's pet si uh, lady sisters. And then we'll just move that card forward and draw five new cards next turn. Keep moving forward. And we're just going to try and get our mountain field spell. And have our twin-headed thunder dragon take out this freaking... Oh. What? What? Dude, that thing would have protected you forever. I was getting scared. Like, I didn't... I... Oh, what does that do? Spellbind's my strongest monster? Okay. What does... How about for how long? Infinitely. Oh, so I can't use that. I can't use Twin Head and Pepper Dragon anymore. But I did get my Mountain Field spell, so I might as well start moving in. And I guess I'll leave you alive, Empress Judge, because I need you. You have the highest attack. Harpy Lady Sisters, I'll leave you alone for now. Swamp Battle Guard, sorry, just chill, buddy. And hopefully he doesn't get any bad spell cards that end the duel. Even though that's exactly what I'm worried about. And Tremendous Fire does a thousand damage. Crap, I need to start killing my monsters. If he activates a Just Desserts next turn, we lose. God damn it, I did not want to kill my monsters. Okay, you need to die. Um, that's three, five, nope, there's still five monsters on the field. I don't want to kill her because she's freaking good. Ah, uh, I can't move. Ah, uh, god damn it! Goodbye, Empress Judge. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't uh, risk him playing a just desserts. Swamp Valgard might not be strong enough to get in there though, so I'm gonna have to have another plan. I'll put this card down so he thinks I have five monsters on the field, but we'll see how it works. Technically, I only have one because Swamp Battle Guard... Oh, was that a really bad move on my part? Me trying to protect myself ends up with me getting killed? He stayed in attack mode. Is this another freaking trap? I don't know. I don't think I can overwrite my monster with a trap card. Um, I think we can try, but yeah, it does. Okay, good. We can overwrite our own monsters with that. Um... I feel like this would be dumb to try, so let's stay there and wait for our, our guy to get over there. Hopefully, we'll be able to get this. We'll, we'll be able to fix this. This is a fuck too. Why did you kill your own monster? Do you know something I don't? You and your freaking Exodia deck? What are you doing? Summon something on the mountain. Hmm. Interesting. It, w it will stop me from activating my own mountain card. Yes, it will. So what we'll do is we'll summon a freaking Punished Eagle. We'll have Swamp Battle Guard attack it. See if it does the Spellbinding effect. It does do the Spellbinding effect. And then since he got Spellbound, we'll attack it with our stronger monster. Which... Punished Eagle will do a good chunk of damage, and maybe, just maybe, we can beat freaking Yugi's Grandpa. But this is still a really close duel because he has so many powerful cards. But even a Just Desserts wouldn't kill me right now. It would become close to killing me, but it won't kill me. So I guess I shouldn't complain. Still, I wonder how long Swamp Battle Guard's gonna be stunned there. Oh, please don't be a spell card. He always plays a spell card right there. I don't want him to do it again. God damn it. Alright, now it doesn't matter how many monsters I have. This is a thousand life points left. He has two monsters on the field. I can only have one monster on the field for, to survive a Just Desserts. 
Oh, and I just got the combo, and that's only spell down for one turn. God dang it. This game is hurting me. Alright, so we'll put you here. Get rid of our monster. We can only have one monster at a time. Or else we'll die. Uh, infinite Dismissal, you can stay back. We'll play our Mountain card here. And then just get the Mountain already in there. Using the Mountain, we will take advantage of his... Uh... Oh, we lost Soujin. Uh We'll take advantage of the two spaces we get to move and we'll attack freaking Exodia. Hopefully ending the duel. But I don't know at this point. Whoa, where are you going? You've never gone that in that direction before. Okay. So is this just another spellbinding monster that's going to make me cry? Even if it was, I'm moving forward. But any other cards? Curse of Dragon's kind of nice. I can make Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon again. Uh, just in case Punished Eagle can't handle it, I can make Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon again. Oh, it was nothing! Holy crap, I can go in for the kill! Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, we can beat freaking Yugi's Grandpa and his dumb Exodia deck with a bunch of spell cards that do too much damage. Oh, you monster. He knows I won't attack Exodia because I want to be on this mountain space that lets me move two spaces. Interesting. He's a pretty smart duelist. Goodbye, Infinite Dismissal. You're useless to me right now. But you know what isn't? Mesmer Control. He'll think I summon a monster, activate just deserts, and not kill me. Do just as I said. Wait, I wonder if he'll kill his own Exodia card. He did kill his own Ex Exodia card. And... Please tell me this is the end of it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, we defeated one of the strongest duelists in this game and his annoying ass Exodia deck. Thank God. I really didn't want to have to deal with him because he could just beat you in like five turns, six turns because of all the dumb spell cards he has. All right, what card do I want? I don't think Exodia is a card you can win, so I guess I would want... Uh... No, I'm just going to close my eyes and press the buttons. Alright, useless, useless, useless. That's fine. I wasn't exactly hoping for anything great. So, before I end off the episode, let's see who he summons up and uh, who we will be fighting next time. So, we defeated Yugi's grandpa. He definitely will give us a rose card for doing that. Thank you very much. And... Okay, that field looks interesting. And it is Bakura and his super weak deck of 757, which means we have to throw out all of our best monsters in order to fight him. But that'll be next time. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.